I paused for a minute and then went in and created expressions for the elbow and the wrist area of the wing. And so let's take a look and see what those do. So now when I re rewind, you can see my shoulder having effect. And right now the wrist and the elbow are doing nothing. Now for starters, let's give them all the same value just to see how that influences the behavior. Okay, so what we should have is something that moves exactly the same rate all the way up, up and down the chain. Very mechanical, but completely automated movement. Now, if you actually want to make it look a little more organic, you can actually add a little offset in, and it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, so first of all, let me actually uh, tone down the amount of rotation that actually goes into the shoulder. I'm going to make it about 35, so it's a little stiffer at that, uh, at that area. It doesn't go as far. I'm going to make the elbow at around 40, and we'll leave the wrist at around 45, so it actually gets a little more overlap there. So already you get something that's a little more organic than what we started with. And that's just by adding in uh, more automation now we can even do it a little further by having some of these movements actually occur a little slower so we actually get even more offset in the behavior. So with the elbow, instead of having it at a rate of 4, I'm going to have it at a rate of let's say 3.8. So it takes a little bit longer for it to complete its cycle. And then for the wrist, I'm going to set it say 3.6. So now we get something that gives us a lot more overlap. So as you can see, uh, the sine wave function that was used for the expression already has in sort of an ease in, ease out, which is actually really great for animation. But uh, with the additional offset in the timing, it makes it look that much more convincing. Let me increase the rate a little bit. I'm just going to change it from uh, 4 closer to five so that it just moves a little faster. I want to rewind it and press play. And so now we have sort of a nice little flap. I'm just going to show polygons. So we have a nice little flap now. Very simple setup. And it's got a nice amount of overlap. And using your attributes, you can easily keyframe the behavior on, off, faster, more upset, or less. And that's just all by adding a couple of very simple expressions. Um, usually when it comes to expressions, you do want to keep it simple so that uh, it doesn't take very long for Maya to basically process the behavior that you want because it is sort of a secondary function that you're adding. So that's pretty much automating behavior and uh, controlling it using manually created attributes and switches.